Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Planes of Red and uh, we are going to continue with uh, 320 today and uh, we are doing auto thrust. So disclaimer remains the same, do not use any of the information that you are learning here practically in real life, please refer to your FCOMs always. So auto thrust is a function of the FMGS, that's the flight management guidance system. It has two independent auto, thr auto thrust commands, one per FMGC, basically the two channels of auto thrust. Okay, each each channel is able to control the thrust of both engines simultaneously through two engine interface units EIU and two engine control units that's ECU. Only one FMGC controls the active auto thrust, and that FMGC is the master FMGC. All right, so auto thrust is very important function because um, it can uh, relieve you from workload in the cockpit, and uh, it is a lovely uh, concept. So let's talk about uh, the two thrust levers that are there. So these are the two thrust levers here that will be here. And uh, thrust is controlled by two levers each for one engine. There are five detents or stops that are as they are called that divide the thrust levers into four segments. One, two, three, four. And they are as follows. Toga, takeoff go around, flex, MCT, maximum continuous thrust. Flex is a concept we will talk about later. Climb, idle and max reverser. There is no detent uh, for, uh, there's another line you can see here, idle reverse, but there's no detent, there's no stop here. So there's max reverse directly. Alright, so these are the five detents that divide it in, divide the thrust lever sectors into four segments. Now auto thrust can be discussed actually in three stages, armed, active, disconnect. And uh, this button here is the button that's on the FCU panel below the autopilot, two autopilot switches. So there's only one button there. It is armed by the following means. What does arm mean? This arm means it's ready to be active. Okay, so it is whenever certain conditions are met, it gets activated. But armed is it is ready to be active and it is in blue color on the FMA. So it is armed on the ground by the following means by pushing the auto thrust push button on the FCU when the engines are not running, by setting the thrust levers at flex or toga detent when the engines are running. So whenever you set that, it becomes armed. In flight, by pushing the auto thrust push button while the thrust levers are out of the active range, we will talk about active range once we get into the active uh, stage. Where while auto thrust is active by setting all the thrust levers beyond the climb detent or at least one lever above the MCT detent, or by engaging the go around mode. So it becomes armed. Armed means when it is ready to be active and take over the speed management of the aircraft. Okay, and as I said earlier also, when armed, it is in blue color in the fifth column of the FMA. If you need some information on FMA flight mode annunciator, go back to the previous video. So that has about FMA. So when it is armed, it will be showing in blue color there. Alright, so this is about arming conditions. Now, auto thrust can be active only between two ranges. Very important and very frequently asked. What are the two ranges are? Idle to climb in two engine operations idle to MCT maximum continuous thrust in one engine operations let me just go back to the thrust lever diagram here so the auto thrust is actually active only between the idle and climb range here as you can see when two engines are operating and if there's a single engine failure it can operate it can be active between idle and MCT alright so these are the two ranges that only auto thrust will function when it is below idle, auto thrust will get disconnected. When it is above MCT or above climb in case of two engine, it will be disconnected. All right, so very important to know this. So that is what we were talking about the active range here. So if it is out of the active range and you push the auto thrust push button here in flight, it will become armed. So these two are important active ranges are idle to climb in two engine, idle to MCT in one engine. When active, it is in white color in the fifth column of the FMA. Generally, uh, if you re remember the FMA video, it is more about green color being active, whether it is heading, whether it is track, speed, or anything. But auto thrust is a unique uh, exception where when it is active, it is in white color of the FMA in the fifth column. Okay, now auto thrust can be divided into two segments uh, in the active range it is the speed mode and the thrust mode. Now what speed mode does is when it controls the auto thrust is controlling the trajectory of the aircraft. Trajectory is any anything that is to do with vertical trajectory. So altitude, glide slope, 
vertical speed all these are trajectories so the speed mode will engage when you have the trajectory being controlled now the thrust mode is when the aircraft is adjusting the pitch to keep a target speed okay so these two are different concepts and uh, these are the differences speed mode and thrust mode thrust mode when it is adjusting the aircraft pitch to keep a target speed and this will happen in during climb idle descent these are uh, fma you know readouts these ones are fma readouts so if you have climb idle descent you are in thrust mode so basically it will be you know if you read in the fma it will be thrust climb and climb you know thrust idle it will be in those modes okay so this is important to know when you are in speed mode and when you are in thrust mode so these are the you will be in alt glide slope and vertical speed when you are in speed mode this is generally during your landing you will be in glide slope mode or if you have selected some 1000 feet per minute or you are if you are holding some altitude then it will be in speed mode it will maintain the trajectory and in the thrust mode it will maintain the pitch to keep a target speed because if you want to easily remember it uh, climb you don't want to be you know uh, climbing to slow speed so it will adjust the pitch to maintain a speed similarly descent you don't want to descend at a very fast speed so you it will accordingly to the according to the speed required it will adjust the pitch thrust mode now we talk about disconnect now auto thrust is disconnected when it is neither in armed mode or nor in active mode okay so it can be disconnected in two ways standard disconnection is the flight crew pushes the instinctive disconnect push buttons on the thrust levers they are red colored on either side of the levers and uh, the flute uh, the flight crew uh, sets both thrust levers to idle detent so if during landing what happens is if you just push pull the lever to idle the auto thrust will be disconnected automatically and these are standard disconnection connecting procedures if you remember autopilot also has some standard disconnecting procedures now what is non standard here is the flight crew pushes the auto thrust push button on the fcu while it is still active or armed and that is it will create a warning and if the system loses one of the arming conditions if you remember the arming conditions there were a lot that we discussed here these are the arming conditions all right now something uh, interesting uh, three interesting points i would like to talk about auto thrust here uh, it generally um, is uh, interesting but actually it's a, wi a wide subject auto thrust itself but uh, i've covered i hope i've covered a lot of it so if the flight crew pushes and holds one instinctive disconnect push button for more than 15 seconds the auto thrust system is disconnected for the remainder of the flight and including the alpha floor is lost and everything is lost so you basically will not have any auto thrust function at all it will only be recovered only when you come down on the ground and you have an next fmgc power up okay uh, alpha floor now we were talking about alpha floor what is alpha floor alpha floor is a protection that commands toga thrust regardless of the thrust lever positions this protection is available from lift off to 100 feet ra on approach ra is radio altimeter so lift off to 100 feet above ground level you can say on approach to cancel alpha floor thrust the flight crew must disconnect the auto thrust now what what is alpha floor for example if you are in stalling condition the aircraft detects stall it will take you into alpha floor mode where your angle of attack may be very high so it will take into alpha floor protection and you will get toga thrust irrespective of your thrust lever position even if it is at idle or whatever position it is it will give you full toga thrust to recover you from the stall okay so that is one use and it is active between lift off to 100 feet on approach now another important concept interesting concept is ground speed mini it has been defined to prevent the aircraft energy from dropping below a minimum level during the final approach this minimum energy level is represented by the ground speed the aircraft will have at touchdown now what is this is uh, ground speed mini is something because it is a large aircraft right it's a big aircraft jet aircraft so you'll have uh, you know the energy of the aircraft is important because if any pitch movement at the approach will cause it to lose or gain energy now ground speed mini concept is under the auto thrust where the crew can through it calculates a v approach speed using tower winds and the actual winds and all of that so it will maintain a certain energy level minimum energy level and it is represented by a ground speed that the aircraft will have at touchdown now this ground speed at touchdown is your ground speed mini speed okay so that's all about auto thrust i hope uh, it is uh, is actually a vast topic but i have tried to concise it and uh, make it easy for understanding okay thank you for watching guys
and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like the video give it a thumbs up like the Facebook page as well for regular updates do not forget to share this video comment below if you have any doubts and uh, I'm on WhatsApp email Facebook YouTube of course cheers and happy landings guys have a great day bye bye